Welcome back to Wave of Docker. Got another series preview for you today. The Orioles take on the Philadelphia Phillies from today, Friday, June 14th to Sunday, June 16th. Three game set. Orioles just won two out of three against the Atlanta Braves. Um, seven and three in their last ten. Did lose that, you know, series finale yesterday on Thursday. But um we've been playing some pretty good baseball over the last two to three weeks. I mean, honestly, ever since we got swept by St. Louis, we've probably been playing the best baseball. Um of the season so far, so that's really good. Uh, we are currently 45-23. and 23. Uh, Like I said, losing yesterday to the Braves, so we're our last 10. Still two and a half back of the Yankees, thank goodness the Royals. Um, we're able to beat the Yankees yesterday, you know, keep the keep the standings flush. Uh, and the Phillies are 46-22 and 22, uh, and are nine games ahead of the Atlanta Braves, and they're also, um, I think, 7-3 and three in their last 10, maybe 6-4 and four in their last 10. Um... But yeah, I mean, the Orioles are playing good baseball. Fields are playing good baseball. Uh, Orioles are the third third best team in baseball. Uh, so this is very exciting. Saturday and Sunday's games are sold out. This should be, this should be a really exciting series. Hopefully, you know, each team is able to provide um, some good entertainment for baseball fans, as opposed to you know, one team just shitting the bed and just making it kind of a boring series. Honestly, I I hope one team shits the bed, the other team, uh, the Phillies. But um, as a fan of baseball, I'd like to see an exciting series. Um, but also this is just a huge series for the Orioles to kind of, you know, see what, see what we've got, because, uh, this is the best team that we've played all year thus far. We have played the Yankees, you know, earlier in April, but, um, you know, that was early in April, you know, the team really hadn't found its identity yet. We took three out of four against them, but this is the best team that we've played all year. And this is honestly, I mean, we're playing the Yankees right after this, but this is the biggest series of the year, I think, just in terms of knowing what we're worth as a baseball team. But um, I digress. Let's just get into the, you know, pitching matchups and talk more about that. So game one, Ranger Suarez versus Cobb Radish. Game two, Taiwan Walker versus Grayson Rodriguez. And game three, Zach Wheeler versus Corbin Burns. Uh, Ranger Suarez has probably been the best pitcher in baseball. 10-1, uh, and one, 181 ERA, which I think is second in the league at this point because Ronaldo Lopez, Braves pitcher yesterday, lowered his, like, 169 after he shut us out. So, but I mean, still, 10-1. One eight one ERA over thirteen starts, leads the league in walks and hitters and hits per inning pitch. Um, also goes deep in the games. He has like a complete game shutout this year. He's just been doing it all. Um, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, ten and one. It's just. I mean, the Phillies are the best team in, or the best team in the National League. So I mean, when you're winning a lot of games, it's just crazy that he goes out there and he goes deep in games and they gets them to win. Like that's just impressive. He's just been doing some impressive stuff this year. And honestly, it's either him or Zach Wheeler probably for. Cy Young in the NL at this point. Cal Bradish had another great start. Six innings of one hit ball um, against the Tampa Bay Rays. Lowered his ERA to 2.62. He's now 2 0 over his uh, seven starts. I mean, yeah, he's just been, he's been the man. He had a really good, you know, bounce back start after, you know, he had that rough outing against Tampa Bay prior to that. Um, but I mean, he's definitely been, he's he is the second best pitcher on our staff uh, behind Corbin Burns. He's just been, He's been the man this year. He he he's his stuff looks nasty. He's going deeper in the games now that you know his innings limit has gotten uh, a little you know a bit relinquished. Um, but yeah, I mean, we knew he was the man third and second last year, and now that we have him, like I, mean, I was talking about it like last off season, like I want to get like an ace because having Kyle Bradish be your second pitcher in the rotation is just like that's Kyle Bradish. You know, he's arguably a top ten pitcher in the American League, and if he's the second guy in our rotation, that means we have two. Top 10 pitchers in the American League. Pretty, pretty amazing. I'm, I'm really happy with that. Uh, Tawan Walker, 3-1 and one over 8 starts with a 5-4-0 ERA over 43 and one third innings. Uh, a weaker start for him, or at least his standards. Um, but he had a late start. He didn't get his first start until late in April. Um, and also, he's like essentially the fourth or fifth arm, you know, behind Nola, Suarez, and Wheeler. So, I mean, having a guy go out there and like, I mean, he's still, you know, putting them in a good spot to win. He's 3-1. and one. His ERA is just a little north of, you know, five, so that's a little tricky. But, I mean, he's a guy that you don't really need to be ace level since you have, you know, three arguable, you know, aces anywhere else ahead of him. You know, Nola's what we are, Wheeler and Suarez. So, I mean, the Phillies are, I'd say they're definitely happy with what they're getting from him. I'm just talking in the grand scheme of Tawan Walker's career. But, I mean, he's been, he's been solid for that. Uh, Grayson, another solid start, going five and two thirds innings against Tampa Bay, allowing two earned runs on two hits. Now seven and two with a three seven two three two seven ERA, um, 
just having a phenomenal sophomore season. Um, it's just crazy that a, a, a pitcher is playing as well as our third guy. Like, the Orioles having a deep uh, a deep rotation is just, it's huge. I, I just can't believe it, you know. Yeah. Like, Irvin, you know, he had a rough start on Thursday, but, I mean, he's been great all year. Suarez has just been this, you know, godsend. Cade Povich turned it around and had a phenomenal start against Atlanta on Wednesday. Like, this rotation is just so deep, and it's just so... The blessing. But yeah, Grayson's been phenomenal. Only 24 years old and having a season like this. It's it's, it's amazing. Uh, Zach Wheeler having another great year for Philadelphia. 8-3 over 14 starts. 2-1-6 ERA over 80, 87 and two-thirds innings. Um, I mean, this guy loves to go seven innings and limit runs. I mean, he's been one of the best pitchers in the National League um, for the last, like, five seasons. Uh, and I think MLB had him as, like, their Cy Young frontrunner in the National League, so I guess we'll see. But, um, yeah, I mean, he's just always been... He's been the man. He's just consistent. He strikeouts. He, he big strikeout guy. Goes deep in the games. Always has you know two hundred plus innings each season. It seems he's just a phenomenal pitcher. And Corbin Burns just notched his ninth straight start of six plus innings. Uh, now seven two with a two o eight ERA. It's Corbin Burns, and I would make that trade a thousand out of a thousand times. Like you can't you can't tell me that. You know, I mean, Joey, Joey Ortiz is having a great year for Milwaukee. I'm not really sure how Deal Hall is doing with them. I've really heard much of him. But, I mean, to be able to get Corbin Burns on a team that was already, you know, had, you know, some promise pitching-wise and just putting him at the front of that rotation and allowing, you know, Bradish and Grayson to kind of, you know, be our two and three guys, just like, it's huge. And I'm just, I'm still mind blown that Corbin Burns is our ace. But, I mean, he's just been the man. He's had, like, six straight starts of seven-plus innings. He's just... He's just doing it. I think he hasn't he hasn't allowed more than three earned runs in any start this year. And he's he's had like I think, I think this is gonna be his fifteenth start. He's a force. He's a force to be reckoned with. And he's my AL Cy Young. And yes, I'm biased, but who cares? But um yeah, those are the pitching matchups, like I said. Uh two of the best teams in baseball. Um, probably I think the biggest series of the year, followed by, you know, next year's in, in New York, it's gonna be the biggest series of the year. But I mean it should be exciting baseball. I'm actually really bummed that the Father's Day Sunday game didn't get uh, slotted to Sunday Night Baseball because who cares about Red Sox-Yankees? Like, the Red Sox aren't playing very good baseball right now. But Orioles-Phillies, super close. Baltimore and Philly, you know, two huge sports towns. But whatever. I digress. should be an exciting series. <clears throat> I'm just excited to watch it, and I hope that our guys can, you know, get two out of three from these fighting fills. But, um, yeah, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Go O's, go O's, go O's, go O's, go O's, go O's. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.